That's convenient. And everything about this place has just been miniaturized. At least it's affordable. Welcome to the Upper East Side. Actually, we're kind of between the Upper East Side and Midtown. And the apartment is right over here on 65th Street. Just like a seven minute walk from this train station, but it's Midtown. Transportation here is money no matter where you go. Look at all the people. This might be one of the oldest bookstores in the world since 1925. In defiance of all modern expectations for bookstores, it's still here. After you buy a book, you can get some of this delicate stuff. This looks like one of those expensive, boring stores. If you're wondering why there's so many breakfast carts here, it's because between the train and the apartment, there's like no restaurants. It's all offices, places like that, which could be some sort of gallery, luxury stores. After you go broke buying this bag, which you don't need, your food for the next two weeks comes from one of these. We have a light store, look at that. You see that in your next apartment, run. It's too expensive. If you break it, your security's gone. But if you know where to look, you can find local hot spots. This place, I probably should know what it is. Look at that charming little glass uh, table. Fine dining inside, fine dining outside. Cash only, massive menu. It's not actually a coffee shop, it's a little diner. Then we have a strange toy store with creepy things that will terrify your two-year-old. That bunny's definitely creepy. This is so Midtown. Only the side streets have normal stuff that isn't like a designer bag. More restaurants right here on the corner. I'm gonna guess this is an Italian place. Man, these stores keep getting weirder and weirder. Oh, it's French, that's why. That jacket's almost this jacket. Maybe I should go get it. But all of this kind of makes me feel like we're walking into a trap with today's apartments. I mean, if the people around here like stuff like this, it could be that we are in for some price shock. I don't know if I'd be able to live around here. I mean, I definitely would. It's just that stores like this represent all the parts of New York that have forever remained out of reach for me, but somehow within reach of my wife when it's her birthday, when it's Christmas, when she has a baby. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Mr. Charles Monroe, what do you got for us today? I got a studio and possibly a one bedroom in this building. Right in here. We're in an expensive neighborhood. Are these affordable? It's affordable to the person I rent. You can get me a discount at the salon if I rent this place. Is that the laundry? I think so. I, I don't know. No, no. <laughs> oh, look at that. A couple machines right there. Speed Queens. Love the tactile feel of these old buttons. And wouldn't you know, the dryers are Speed Queens as well. A little old fashioned, but it works. Dude, the whole building is old fashioned. I love it, actually. Look at these like super thick metal coat hangers. These are, they're probably not that Those old. Those are the best. Exit sign's really big. Mr. Charles. What does this micro apartment cost? $29.50. How many people do you think could comfortably live here? Six. So there are some parts of this apartment that are designed to save as much space as possible, like the kitchen and the bathroom, but the actual living space has its virtues. It's sunny and it has a pretty big secret. I don't want you to freeze, man. Sure you don't want your jacket. There might be more space outside than inside, well, almost. That's not true. So cool, we got the little fence, and then behind it you can see all the other buildings. Wow, that is bizarre. It's like a birdhouse for people right there. Can we see that one next or no? I'm working on it. You're working on it, all right. So from Charles' feet to the door, this is 17 and a half by seven. That's better than a lot of luxury apartments. It's better than the balcony attached to my luxury apartment. And clearly this ain't no luxury apartment. But in New York, quirks are definitely perks. Look at how functional this is. Where would you put the grill? Over here. Far away from the door, right over here. 
You don't want it swelling up your house. That's true. Table and chairs, a nice big umbrella. Ah, uh, I like how it's semi-private. I mean, we've got some extra windows looking at us, but this goes up pretty high. And if you do what he said, get the gazebo, you're gonna be good even when it rains. Even when it snows. I like it. And for 29 whatever, this is definitely awesome. Okay, 18 by 15 and a half, that's the living space. And because this is a studio, you've got to fit your whole life in this room. That used to be a working fireplace. Oh, right over here. That's right. Ah, you'd be a good detective. That's what that looks like. But I'm glad they took it out. We need all the space we can get here. And because that door leads outside, I'm guessing the bed has to go where you're at. No, it will go over here. Really? This way you can mount the TV over here, put the dress over here. I guess it makes sense to have a bed here, that way we can get out and clothes are there. And like you were saying, have a couch, have a TV. What about a kitchen table? Oh, you definitely put the kitchen table over here. This way you can mount the TV. Okay, so your furniture might fit, but what about your stuff? We've got this closet over here with a little light, which is about a foot and a half deep. How's this? It's the pantry, my friend. Oh, oh look at them closet. Oh, look at them shelves. Or oh, you can make it both. Just both. the rest of the towels. Canned pork and beans and sweaters. Vienna sausages. Not the prettiest kitchen, but I'm impressed that they even have a dishwasher because there is not a lot of room to work with. The oven looks like it's probably the newest thing that we have here. Oh boy. Looks like it hits if your door's not fully closed. Big sink, how's our pressure? Oh, that's coming out. Cabinets, eh, you can fit a bag of Snickers in there. You know, the little baggies that you give out on Halloween. This could fit a microwave, but then I don't know how you're gonna open that. This is like probably too narrow for that. You could also put the microwave in the cabinet and then snake the cord down there. Behind my drink and my backpack, this is our sole outlet, which essentially means right here in this place, it's either a coffee maker or an air fryer. I don't know if you could fit both. That's not a bad thing. Just do drip coffee. That's what I do, it's faster. Also, look at the clearance with the front door. It's like perfect. Does not hit anything that is lined up exquisitely. We've also got video intercom over here. And one, two, three locks on the door. Does this fan turn on? Ah. Ah. Dust came out of it. All right, when I first saw this bathroom, I thought it was some sort of joke, but I really like it the more time I spend in it because the sink here is nice and big. Look, we got some serious pressure. We got the toothbrushes, the soap dish. There is medicine cabinet storage. And even with one light bulb, this is a bright, well-lit room. Just think of if all three were in there. Also, this is smart. This box, there's actually a heat pipe in here and the bathroom's really warm. When you get out of the shower in the winter, you won't freeze. And let's be real, even though this looks like a tub, it's a shower. My four-year-old could lie down flat in here, but not me. But it's well lit, it's clean, it's nicely maintained. You got some other treats for us today? I think so. Hello. Can we take a peek at the apartment? Oh, it looks nice. This is like the exact same thing as upstairs, but they kept the fireplace. The kitchen's definitely a step up. And although the view is, you know, different, instead of a deck, we have an actual bedroom. This, my friend, costs $35.50. So an extra 600 bucks gets you one bed in the same building without the deck because that's this room. All right, I think they're kicking us out because they're working. He gave us a five minute heads up. So there is a laundry room, it's big, but there's people in it. They don't like being filmed when they do their laundry. We've learned that the hard way. The apartment's locked, might have a second entrance. No! Big building, they gotta have something. Yes! We found something. Ooh, and it's big! Wow!
Look at that, right down there is the corner on 57th Street. Such a midtown New York City view that we've got here. And this is a massive apartment, but it's 7,100. And this beautiful beast is a two bedroom. The layout here is really good. Look, right after you come in, you got your coat closet. Sizable closet at that. Bedrooms are to the left once you walk in. And then we have this ginormous common living room. This is 28 feet by 20 feet. Does it even need light? Not really. 3,500 per person roughly to share this with someone. And we're in a doorman building with laundry. And look at this, we have a fancy schmancy new air conditioner because you got the little package in the remote which haven't been lost yet. This window actually faces down the avenue. Kind of mesmerizing to watch the traffic. And you can see what happens on your neighbor's roof deck. perfect kitchen. For some reason, I really like the fact that it's a pass-through with a window that looks out at stuff, but it's letting in some light. It's very bright. There's lots of counter space. There's tons of cabinets. Appliance, appliance, appliance. The stove is huge, but look, if you're cooking, you got plenty of room to prep. And look at how everything is tucked away all nice and neat. Cabinets are reachable if you're short. The amount of storage in here is also kind of hard to tell because if you look at the way the kitchen's designed, it seems small, but there's pantries, at least two pantries. One of them's kind of quirky with like these really old looking doors. And this kind of design means you've got more space in the living room for things like a kitchen table, things like a big couch, or in this living room's case, several big couches. It's massive. This is great, you can actually have a king size bed if you want. Either here in this nook area or just right there by the wall. You could have dressers in the opposite corners. And then over here by the window, this could totally be a home office. Especially because your office would be looking out at other offices. Specifically the doctor's office right there. Look at how sweet this is, looking between these massive buildings. Sun's starting to come out. We've also got the AC and the heater right next to each other. If you turn them on at the same time, your body's gonna feel really weird. Um, and we get a remote. Closet space here is also really good. We've got one closet, which is in the kind of the main area of the room, and the other one, which is hidden behind the door. It actually has a light inside. That's because it's a walk-in, a proper walk-in. When you open it up, it's dark. Once you come in, there we go. Technology. To get to the second bedroom, it shares this little sleeping area hallway, which has like a coat closet. This room is over here. And at first glance, this might look really similar. It's got about the same amount of closet space over here by the door, walk in with a sensor light as well. Same heater, same AC, same hospital view. Charles, you didn't tell me this had two baths? It does have two baths. Look at that. Look how luxurious this is, man. We've got like the real slider right here. I'm not gonna step in here because it's moving ready. But look, that is an actual tub. Medicine cabinets looking good. Oh, is that free glide floss? Look at that, mint. And both the bathrooms in this apartment are exactly the same. This is the one in the hallway, no difference. Want a great place? Talk to Mr. Charles. Subscribe, I'll see you in the next video.